An aerial view of downtown Boston, our location tonight, gives you a great idea of the beauty of this historic city. Good afternoon, everyone. We're about to get started with some Saturday NBA action brought to you by 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Golden State Warriors. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. DA, it's all yours. Well, most would agree that chemistry concerns plagued a talented Boston Celtics team last season. Great depth can sometimes cause friction for a team, as players jostle for shots, minutes, and money. Some roster moves seem necessary, but with all of their assets, the Celtics also had some room to maneuver. Kevin? You knew some decisions were coming, D.A. They're still a factor. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. They've got ABC. Chamberlain is out there with Rodgers. And it's Thurman in at the power forward position. And for Boston, Heinsohn is out there with Havlicek. Then it's Russell. Then it's Jones. And it's Ramsey in at the two. You know what, Smitty, tonight we have two teams that love to push the tempo, love the pace. Smitty, do you like the fact the NBA is getting faster? You know, I like it, Kevin. What I don't like is the coming down and taking a shot, an ill-advised shot. There's nothing wrong with playing fast, getting the ball up to court. If you don't have an advantage or a high percentage shot, just bring it out and run your offense. Stay within the offense, in other words. Yeah, right? stay within the offense. Russell with the bucket. Here is Rodgers. Golden State moving it around. Seven-foot shot. And deep Chamberlain drops it in. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Celtics on offense. Outside, Jones. Heinz in the pass to Ramsey. Here's Heinzen. Pass to Havlicek. Down to five on the shot clock. Chamberlain with the rebound. Woo, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. Here's Thurman. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? Defensively, No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. So it's Boston now. The Warriors making the shot. Havlicek outside. Inside. All alone. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback. So you see his passing ability on that one. Down low, right wing. Here's Phillips, nailed from three-point land. Phillips, three. For Boston, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. With some arc, Chamberlain with the block. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Jones up top, guarded by Rodgers. Shot clock at six. Here's Ramsey. A putback. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. The Warriors have gotten their first three shots to go in for them to start off this game. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Celtics ball. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Jones, no luck. Warriors leading by three. The pass to Chamberlain. Here's ABC. Back to Chamberlain. Here's Thurman. Another shot. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell.
Out to the right wing. Here's Rodgers. Another three for Golden State. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Celtics trail by six. Jones dishes to Russell. On the wing, Havlicek. Chamberlain with the block. And he recovers it. And Russell gets it to go. Golden State's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Pass to Thurman. Now the feed to Chamberlain. And Chamberlain with the stuff. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the contest. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. Free throw good from Chamberlain. The Golden State Warriors so great offensively. People forget about their defense. Their length and IQ make them tough to deal with, especially in the playoffs. Here's Heinsohn. To the paint. Here's Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. ABC passes to Thurman. To the inside, Chamberlain. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. In the last couple seasons, Golden State's defense in the regular season slipping off just a bit. You know what I think what happens is with their elite offense, I think they started to rest a bit more on defense. Also, when you've been to the finals five straight years, some coasting can occur. And now the first time out called here for Boston. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. ABC's checked in for Heinsohn. And the layup's good off the glass. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Passes it to Rodgers. Over to the wing. Here's Phillips. Here's Chamberlain. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Jones, the pass to ABC. Russell against Chamberlain. Havlicek left side. Got a piece of it. Uh, you know, I'm not sure another player combines defense and offense as well as Thurman. The, the only reason he doesn't get more blocks is because so many guys are afraid to bring the ball anywhere near him. Now, here is Havlicek. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pass to Ramsey. The tray. The rebound by Thurman. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. Here's Rodgers. Kept alive. A second chance effort. Thurman's shot is off. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Here's ABC, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. He has that swag going on right now. When the defense steps back on him, he loves taking advantage of it. 152 left in the first. 
And here's Applejack to the middle. Here's ABC. Makes it off the glass. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Rodgers passes to ABC. Here's Chamberlain, and it's sent back by Russell. Plays it up and banks it in. Russell. Russell's got eight. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Three-pointer. Another three for Golden State. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Jones. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Thurman. Now the pass to Rodgers. The fadeaway. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way in. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. Puts one up from 19. That's good on the jump shot. And guys, you got to know who you're guarding. You, you got to run the shooter off that sweet spot. And for Havlicek, that's anything in the mid-range area. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. ABC passes to Thurman. And stolen by Russell. And pushing it up, here's Boston, here's Ramsey. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And now it's only a five-point Warrior lead. Now, I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. And Chamberlain, here we go. And Chamberlain with the stuff. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now Jones... And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Golden State Warriors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defensive glass, you're killing your chances. So on the floor for Golden State to begin this second quarter. Bottoms is out there with Bottoms. Then there's Wallace. Then there's Chamberlain. And it's Phillips in at the two guard. Here's Siegfried. Following the score by Golden State. The Celtics working the ball around now. Count that one. And that's now six points for ABC. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Here's Holmes. Good D by Sanders. I mean, you got to appreciate the aggressiveness. But you also have to recognize the situation. Here's ABC. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Smitty, when things get heated between two players, we often see a double technical call. But should the instigator be penalized more if it can be determined who was, who was the instigator? I agree, Kevin. I, I just don't like sometimes when two guys get into it and you just automatically call it a double technical. Because the strategy-wise, if I was playing Kevin and their Shoot best two. player had a technical already, I would get into it just so I can call a double technical and hopefully he'll be gone. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Did you really? Honestly? No, we did. I mean, I think that Kev, back in the day you saw like Patrick Ewan, for instance. He had a tech. We would just send somebody out there just to see a couple plays. If we can get him thrown out. Especially now, if you just call a double technical the way they do, a lot of star players would have been gone. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. He feeds it to Chamberlain. Rebounded by the Celtics. 
and I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Warriors leading by three. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Outside, Jones. Pass to Siegfried. Passes it to ABC. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Pass to Phillips. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. Chamberlain got four assists now tonight. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Here's Siegfried. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And they pick up two. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. The pass to Holmes. To the inside. Phillips defended by Jones. It's good. 12 points for him. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. Celtics trail by five. Here's Siegfried. Let's it go from 11. Here's ABC. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Wallace kicks to Holmes. Here's Chamberlain. No good that time. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Holmes with the steal. Here's Phillips. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Siegfried. Wallace covering ABC. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Heinzen's checked in for the Celtics. Good on both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Now, here's Holmes. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. Phillips defended by Jones. Again, Golden State. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Got a piece of it, and stolen by Chamberlain. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. 
Celtics trail by seven. Here's Siegfried. Pass to Heinsohn. Here's Jones. Boston again missing. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Holmes passes to Phillips. And it's Golden State with another. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by Boston. Hey, Steve, if your team is holding on to a narrow lead, which player do you want defending that last shot of the game? I would say Kawhi Leonard, uh, Giannis because of his length, Paul George, Draymond yes. Green, and I, and I really Good love names. Clay Thompson. Not that he's going to block the shot, but he always stays in position. Austin with the ball. They trail by nine points. Here's Jones. And the shot goes in. Jones. Golden State's gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Here's Phillips. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Heinsohn. The Warriors pull it in. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Celtics trail by seven. Here's Havlicek. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Havlicek's got his second bucket. Oof, that is a tough shot. Warriors have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts to the right side. Rodgers against Jones. Golden State moving it around. And the three ball is good. He's got 19. What a game for him so far. He started out strong in that first quarter and has only turned it up from there. And it's Jones with the ball for the Boston Celtics. is it to Ramsey back to Jones pass to Ramsey just four to shoot fades back Russell no luck I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard that's a great way to find confidence always a surefire way to get back in the game Celtics trail by eight. Outside, Jones. Havlicek right side. Can't cash in from close range. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. And the pass to Thurman. It's two on one. Here's Jones. And he finished it off with a lane and made possible by a heads-up play defensively at the other end. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And uh, 101 left here in the second. Rodgers passes to ABC. Takes the three. Rodgers can't make the basket. Celtics trail by six. Jacks up a three. He can't get it to go. Golden State's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. 
and the basket is good. Rodgers has got eight. Assistant. Thirty seconds left to play in the first half. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The Celtics have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And so Jones nails both of them. Warriors leading by six. Inside, here's Thurman. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Havlicek with it. seconds left and so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an eight point lead heading into the break they're pounding the ball inside and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight back to the action after this word and now the 2k sports halftime show hello again everyone that was a combination of everybody and everyone everyone did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, yeah. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? Golden State did not hesitate to set the pace. You could see the daggers in their eyes as they went on a 10-4 run to start things off. By the end of the first quarter, their lead was seven. In quarter number two, they fought off several attempted rallies and actually pulled further out in front, ending the half up by eight. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? You got to like their offense efficiency. They were patient, took good shots. That was reflected in their high field goal percentage. They just need to keep playing smart in the second half and close this thing out. Don't get cute now. And over to Kenny. What did you think about Boston? Well, they're facing a team that shot very well in the first half. Now, that being said, they probably weren't aggressive enough on the defensive end. That was the difference. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Golden State's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for them tonight. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up for the second half. On the floor for Boston. Russell is out there with Heinsohn. Then there's Havlicek. Then it's Jones. And it's Ramsey in at the shooting guard position. Here's Heinsohn. And down it goes. Jamming that one home. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Warriors leading by six. Phillips, the pass to Thurman. To the paint, here's Chamberlain. Nice D from Russell. Celtic shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. And the dunk by Havlicek. And guys, Havlicek in a nutshell. Just constant motion, unparalleled stamina. This guy will wear you out. Russell against Chamberlain. Passes to Phillips. There's the three. They get it again, and it's Chamberlain finishing it off. 
That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Here's Jones. Sinks that one from the post. Jones has got eight points. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to ABC. And here's Chamberlain. Covered by Havlicek. Chamberlain with the basket. Chamberlain got four points this quarter. Celtics trail by six. Now here's Jones. Eight points for him. 11 feet away. And there's Havlicek. That's good on the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists tonight. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Pass to Thurman. And he slams it one-handed. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. The Celtics have gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. There's the pass to Havlicek. And Havlicek throws it down. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Chamberlain and the Warriors tack on time two out, more. Time, out. time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Started. Steve, so many talented players in the league, sometimes there's frustration over the lack of playing time. For instance, you look at the Celtics last year, a prime example. Yeah, and I think sometimes, Kevin, you can have too much talent at the same positions and also style of play. You need some guys that can do other things that be effective on the court versus just scoring the basketball, and I think that's the reason why the Celtics ran into some trouble last year. Both teams deciding to change it up. And it's Jones with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Six-point game. Chamberlain with the block, and they'll keep possession. Two points, that one goes. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Golden State's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Thurman passes to Chamberlain. He gets it in there. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. The Warriors have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. One shot. Celtics trail by seven. Jones with it. Chamberlain picks him up. It's Jones on the wing. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Offensive rebound. Here's Chamberlain. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on them now. Yeah, and once you've got them on the ropes, Greg, just keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. And here's Jones. Eight points for him. Here's ABC. Six to shoot. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Jones. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Thurman passes to Rogers. Here's Chamberlain. And another basket for Golden State. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Jones dishes to Sanders. Oh 
Pass to Jones. Outside, Jones. Shoots over Chamberlain. Jones, no luck. Warriors leading by nine. Thurman passes to Holmes. Three-pointer. Rodgers can't make the basket. For Boston, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. On the wing, Jones. Wallace covering. It's stolen. And it's the Warriors on the break. Moving it up. To the left wing. Here's the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Rodgers has got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. Chamberlain with the block. But they get it back. Here's Jones. Boston again missing. Golden State's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. Pass to Rodgers. Over Sanders. Here's Thurman. Chamberlain trying to get open. Thurman's shot is good. Thurman's got 10 points in the game. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Havlicek, he's checked in for the Celtics. Bottoms, he's checked in for the Warriors. Warriors on D. 14 points, their largest lead in the game. For Boston, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. And as a team, excellent a season ago. About 80% when they got to the line. And he can't get the first one. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. And he sinks the second. One fifty-eight left in the third quarter of the game. Chamberlain, the pass to Rodgers. They double-team Chamberlain. Stolen by Havlicek. Here's Jones, and Jones slams it in. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jones has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Boston. And he's been passive today, but maybe that's what he needs to get him going because for them to be successful, he's got to be a little more selfish. And there's Havlicek. That's good on the assist by Jones. Havlicek's got nine points here in the second half. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Chamberlain. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Chamberlain got 32 points in the game. You know he's going to take a lot of shots out there. He's their number one option right now. Jones drives in. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Casey Jones.
And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. Warriors leading by seven. Chamberlain kicks to Holmes. Out left to the wing, Rodgers. And another three for Golden State. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. 32 seconds left in the third. A, a quick, good shot here, and they can go two for one. Trying to squeeze out every extra possession, but they have to work fast. Now, here is Havlicek. He's got 13. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. For Boston, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. The first one falls. He's perfect from the line this time. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. And so it's the Golden State Warriors going into the break with a 10-point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. Back right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision, and it takes good decision-making right there. He showed both, and he did so at a very high level. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Celtics trail by 10 on the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Bottoms is out there with Chamberlain. Then there's Wallace, and it's ABC, and it's Phillips in at the two. Here's Russell. Sweet little floater. Russell's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Boston. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Pass to Chamberlain. Banked in off the glass. And the Warriors lead by 10. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Jones, the pass to Heinsohn. Here's Ramsey. Misses the three. Golden State's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And the slam dunk by Russell. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, ba the basket, guy Still shaking. Chamberlain, the pass to ABC. Back to Chamberlain. Over Russell. Misses the chippy right there. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Jones, the pass to Havlicek. And there's the pass to Ramsey. 
Five on the clock. Passes it to Heinsohn. The shot, no good. The Warriors go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 14 points. Wallace, the pass to ABC. Here's Phillips. And again, it's the Warriors missing. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half. Since then, still waiting on number four. Havlicek kicks to Jones. Pass to Russell. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his fifth assist in this one. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Timeout called the Warriors. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Thanks, David. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. To the left side wing. Here's Ramsey, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. The pass to ABC. Here's Rodgers. A three-pointer is right on target. And the Warriors lead by nine. Having a monster night from beyond the arc. He had two bombs in the first half. Now three more since. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Pass to Heinsohn. And he comes up with the deuce. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Passes it to ABC. Down low, here's Chamberlain. And the Warriors tack on two more. Ooh, heat check after heat check. He rises to the occasion, trying to wheel his team to victory. Jones, the pass to Russell. John Havlicek on the wing. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Chamberlain got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. They double-team Chamberlain. Nice D from Russell. Celtics trail by nine. Pass to Ramsey. From deep. That shot no good. Golden State's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Chamberlain gets stolen by Jones. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Golden State five. Off the inbound. Here's Havlicek. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Warriors leading by nine. And there's the call on Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Austin on D. There's the pass to Rogers. Here's Chamberlain. Misses off the right iron. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Buries the long-range jumper. And he finally gets involved from beyond the arc. His first three of the game comes here in the second quarter. Tries from 10. Good on the jump shot. Chamberlain got 42 in the game. Celtics trail by 8. Havlicek outside. to the paint. Here's Heinsohn. Great pass to set up the lay-in. 
Heinzen's got four points this quarter. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Timeout called the Warriors. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. With this game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Warriors leading by six. Passes to Phillips. Here is Rogers, defended by Jones. Here's Chamberlain, and the Warriors tack on two more. Well, for the Celtics, this one not looking good. Now, Havlicek. Inside, here's Russell, and the slam dunk by Russell. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. To the inside, Chamberlain. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I thought for sure the defense was going to send that one back. But he somehow got that one up over the D and in. Free throw good from Chamberlain. Celtics trail by nine. To the middle. Here's Heinsohn. That's tipped. 143 left in the fourth. Takes a three. Here's Chamberlain. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Chamberlain got 49 points in the game. Jones with it. Rodgers pulls it in. Rodgers has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to ABC. Now, here is Chamberlain. And it's sent back by Russell. Jones against Rodgers. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. They double-team Chamberlain. And got it! Another basket. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And so it's Boston with it. Trailing by 13. Now, here is Havlicek. Not a lot of room, and good that time. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Rodgers against Jones. Here's Thurman. Chamberlain trying to get open. Thurman's shot is off. They can score it here, but it won't mean much. Kevin, turn out the lights. This party's over. <laughs> it might be. Here's ABC. Inside, the 11-footer. Chamberlain, no good. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. 
and in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.